Hi everyone! In this video I will be showing you everything you need to know about the Admiralty system, which, starting at level 52, is one of the easiest and fastest ways to level up passively. So passive has been not actively doing episodes, missions, or destroying enemies. So starting off, there are four campaigns with a maximum level of 10, and I'll cover that in a moment, but each of the campaigns on the Tour of Duty missions, which I will show in a minute, give you varying rewards once you complete those. So for the UFP, it's two specialization points. KDF will give you 40,000 fleet dilithium vouchers. The Republic will give you four Romulan Republic universal tech upgrades. And the Ferengi Alliance will give you 30,000 dilithium ore bonus. Now I mentioned the maximum level is 10. So the higher your... Um, Admiralty campaign level is, the more mission slots you will have, which allows you to do, well, more Admiralty missions. So, starting at level 52, you get three. The next one you can unlock by getting any campaign to level three. The next one is get any two campaigns to level three. Following that, any campaign to level five, and then any two campaigns to level five followed by any campaign to level 10. And the final one is uh, if you have a Gamma recruit and they have progressed any three campaigns to level 10. And of course you unlock that on other characters through a Temporal Agent. Now the order of getting these is completely arbitrary, so you don't have to follow this order. For example, if I have a Gamma recruit with level three, uh, with a three, campaigns to level 10 and unlock that on another character that has never done Admiralty before but is at least level 52, I would have 4, and so on. So, now let's cover the ship roster. So, um, any ships you own will become, will become an Admiralty card which you can use for your Admiralty missions. Now some of these are special ones at the very bottom, which tend to be gold. And here I can cover a few things such as the Assimilated Assault Cruiser and IS Study, or any of these ones. These ships you cannot fly on your own. So once you get one of these, it's going to be an Admiralty card and not a ship that you can actually fly. So don't go into your ship roster, it's not going to be there. Just Gotta get that out of the way because some people have been complaining. Oh, I got this uh, ISS study. Where is it? Where can I fly it? So, yeah. Anyways, next tab is maintenance, which, after completion or failure of an Admiralty mission, the trips you use will come here and be on cooldown for a couple of hours or minutes, depending on the ship. So, I personally like to do the Klingon Empire. Um, the Klingon Empire campaign once I get everything to level 10, mostly because I could really use some fleet to lithium for my fleet. But anyways, I'm going to be using this to demonstrate how to use the Admiral system, and also, if I'm lucky enough to get a tour of duty mission going, I'll show that as well. So just a few things out of the way, you do have pass tokens, which allows you to bypass a mission you don't want to do, for example. But let's just get some few things out of the way first. So um, a few things. There's going to be these red purple, uh, these red lightning symbols and the green lightning symbols. So green means above, red means a disadvantage, so to speak. So that comes from events. So here we see plus ten to science required. So you need more science to complete this mission, and five critical rating as a bonus which gives you a higher chance of getting better rewards out of this mission. So, each ship, mostly the stats on it, will be based on what type of ship it is, so cruisers will have a boost to engineering, uh, science ships will have a boost to science, and escorts and warships, warbirds, and whatnot will have a boost to practical. So, let's get this one done. So we need 20, 10, and 20. 
So I'm going to start with this one. And, um, of course, each strip, well, actually, no, most strips will have a special um, condition, such as, well, times 1.5 critical rating from tactical and engineering, plus A2 science and engineering per tactical ship, that kind of thing. So, um, if you're missing some points on higher, more difficult missions, it's the place to get them. So, you see there, that was a bad placement as I'm wasting a bit of um, points where I can put it elsewhere. So, let's do this. There we go. So, so, the best way to have success is, of course, filling this all up, sometimes a little bit over, to get some more critical chance. But it has been witnessed that sometimes, even with full stats, it is possible for failure. Hasn't happened to me yet, but it has happened to some people. So, very bad luck on that. So, click it away and it goes. So, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna pause it for a minute. I'll be back once we get a tour of duty uh, mission on screen. So here, it shows you... Oh, welcome back. <laughs> uh, it shows you um, the missions that follow the ones that will fill up here once you clear the ones above. So, um, let's keep this going. And you can filter your ships by engineering plans and tackle small craft ships here. Here's so small craft, tier one as in, well, you know, the tier of trip you have. And of course, rarity. So let's just get this one filled quickly. And some ships are a one-time use, such as these, so they will disappear after completing the mission instead of going into the maintenance slot. So 45, 55, and 45, let's put... Okay, the tier 5 ships are giving a little bit, uh, it's that they're a bit too high, so let's go with the, to the lower tier ships. I need some, uh, some engineering, so let's put the Kobayam Shimaru in, perfect. A little bit overkill, but that's okay, let's get some critical chance in there. Alright, so here's a tour of duty, and as I mentioned, once you do 10 of these, and they appear every day, and the duration is 20 hours, so it is... A daily essentially and they climb by um, tiers so every mission you complete from 1 to 10 the requirements increase from 10 all the way to 100 for every category and sometimes there will be events such as here with a uh, different effect so. and as I mentioned ships usually have uh, their own special effects on missions so you can get one that takes away events if you want to. Unless, of course, the event is beneficial, so... Choose widely, <laughs> essentially. Alright, and we'll send that away. So I can keep going, but... Um, for this video, I'm gonna stop right there for... This character, and I'll be right back. So, on a character that, that does not have... Um, top tier in the campaigns, such as, well, this one I have. It will show a daily bonus, which you can get by successfully completing an assignment per day. And here you can see that um, each mission will give you campaign experience, sometimes a special item, such as, well, here it seems like six colonists or prisoners. Okay, actually prisoners, because capture violent escape criminal, criminal, uh, criminal but uh, yeah. And some experience points, which of course contribute to leveling up or getting specialization points. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I believe I've covered everything you need to know. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and ring the notification bell to be notified of future videos and to help out this channel. Great, so why not? And I have a Patreon now if you want to support me that way, link in, in the description. And a very small Discord server at the moment if you want to join that which is also in, in the description. Alright, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!